Hi, my dragons. Welcome to Undergraduate Research Methods, um, SES 300 Research Methods. So, I'm Dr. Victor, and I'll be your professor this semester. Uh, the first couple of weeks were virtual, and then starting on February 2nd, we'll be in the classroom. And we meet Tuesday and Friday. I don't know why it says Thursday on the syllabus. I have to change it. Tuesday and Friday from 2 to 3.15 in main classroom uh, building el room 11, okay? And um, so I have my syllabus here, and hopefully you have printed it up or you're following along as I talk to you in this video uh, so you can follow along and know uh, what I expect in this class and what you're going to be doing, okay? I'm trying to get this glare out of this. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, right, so... I did put my cell phone, 419-344-3804, and my home phone. I live near a state forest, so sometimes it's difficult to get through on the cell. So call this the home if, if you have a problem getting through. But otherwise, you can always text me on my cell. That is the best way to get a hold of me. I always notice a text. Don't worry about bothering me. If it's 2 o'clock in the morning, sometimes I'm up. <laughs> otherwise, I, I will notice it, and I will answer you back just as quickly as possible, okay? So texting, 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 that's the way to go. I do have a Tiffin University email, which I did put in there. I will try and check it regularly. I do have a lot of emails. <laughs> I did tend to get swamped. But again, I always notice that text, okay? Um, I am in McKillop House, which is also known as the CJ House. Hurwitz is in there. Stockner's in there. Um, Lacey Ellis, uh, Professor Miller. So there's a lot of us uh, CJ professors in that house. It's a White House. I think it's the second one in. It says McKillop House on it, so there you go. So I'm sure you've heard some horror stories about research. Um, I love research. Research is a lot of fun to me. And uh, this semester I'm teaching three research classes. So very excited to have you as undergrads. And look, at it's very important because all the employers want good research. When you show them that you can do good research, that's a really cool thing. And you will use this all the time. I know you think, oh my god, I barely survived stats. How am I going to survive research? I'll never use these things. No, you will use them. <laughs> a lot of my alums come back and they say, remember when you said that and I didn't believe you at the time, but guess what? I'm using research every day, including our chief of police who was like, hated research. And then he came and said, oh my God, I have to do this every day. I said, I told you you're going to do this. <laughs> so you will be doing it. You will find it useful. And it's a great tool for you to have. Um, I, I personally believe if you can do research, you can get the keys to the world in your hand. So there you go. So yeah, it is uh, one of those classes where everybody is nervous about. So don't be nervous. We're going to have a lot of fun. You can always reach out to me for help. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to, because it's COVID. So um, I will be on campus starting February 2nd. Uh, so you could reach me before or after classes, Tuesday or Friday. I also teach the Saturday grad class research. Uh, so I'm there like at 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. You could meet, we could meet before or after that class. Uh, the research class then. And again, we start on February 2nd, okay, in person. This is a writing intensive course. And I know you took stats and, um, you know, don't panic if you've forgotten some stuff. Uh, I'll hold your hand through the course and you'll get through this and you'll be wiser in the end for it, <laughs> okay? So I hope you're following along in the syllabus. I put down a lot of stuff that they make us put down, like the course learning objectives and what you expect to get out of this class. I do tend to use um, Hagen's book. Uh, Hagen, um, that's a pretty good foundational book, but I use a lot of other stuff too. Uh, it's not like I'm making this up. Research is research is research, you know. I, everybody does research the same way. It's a scientific method, and um, so you can use any book really. But I'm sure there's a Hagen book in the library. I don't think it matters what edition it is because I don't know what they're charging in the bookstore for it. But uh, if you want to buy it, great. If you don't want to buy it, I will have... Um, you should take notes, and the notes should suffice, and we'll do a lot of practicing in class and things like that, so you shouldn't be nervous, okay? Uh, so that's, the, get a folder or something. You have to get a box. I'll, I'll show you a picture. I'll put a picture of the box up on the Moodle so you can see what I need, what I'm talking about. So you get a box like that for all your research materials, because you're going to have a lot of research materials. So you don't have to buy the book. You can if you want. You can go to the library and see what they got, too. And you must write your paper APA format, so the publication manual of the APA, again, you don't have to buy it. It's in the library. There's a lot of copies of it. Um, we have extra copies floating around, School of Criminal Justice. 
and um, <clears throat> or you could use Purdue All, which is a website, and they help you with your APA format as well. So that's not a big deal. You will have to participate in class, whether you want to or not. I'm going to call on you and say, "Hey, get to the board and chart this out," or something like that. <laughs> so just relax. Don't be worried about it, and have fun with it. Go with the flow. Okay. I expect you to come to class prepared and uh, ready to learn and, um, you know, no cell phones. No cell phones, no computer, no technology, no distractions. This is a really intense class and you have to give it your all. You have to pay attention. Employers really are looking for people who know how to do research. So it's important that you know how to do research and I don't want to see cell phones. If I do, you're going to lose grade. So don't do that. Uh, what else? Um, you should come to class prepared. I have the university policy in there about class attendance and athletes for athletes. Academic honesty. My my code is a student will not lie, cheat, or steal, nor tolerate those who do. Okay. And then I put the Tiffany University uh, honesty statement in there. And FERPA is in there. And then all the other stuff. they I do have a, a Tiffany University email, so you can reach me by that. But again... Um, the cell phone texting. Uh, also, you could go on Facebook. I don't know if you have a Facebook account, but I have a Facebook account. It's Liz Victor. And if you wanted to add me as a friend, send me a friend request, and I'll look at my roster. And if I see you, boom, I'll uh, you know add you as a friend, and then we could um, go over Facebook Messenger if you wanted. If you had an issue that we could talk to talk about in person, you are expected to meet with me this semester so that we can work on your research project because that's important. So here's the things that you have to do in terms of grading in this class. The easiest grade you're going to have right off the bat is your bio. And that is due on January 31st by midnight, well, just before midnight, 11.55. And basically the bio is, there's a bunch of questions under where it says grading rubrics, you'll see bio. There's a bunch of questions in there that you have to answer. If you make a video, like a little cell phone video, and then upload it to Moodle, you get an A. So there's a picture, there's a video of me. I'm answering all the questions. Boom, upload it. Boom, A. Now, a caution though, because a lot of times people will do a long video and then they can't um, upload it to Moodle. So that's on you to get it in on time. Okay? You have to get it in on time. Uh, if you don't get it in on time, I'm not going to accept it. And then you'll lose the easiest grade you can have. So you might say, okay, I'm going to wait till the 31st and then I'm going to upload it. And then comes the 31st and then you have all these technical issues and then you don't get it in on time and then you're in trouble. Do it. Get it in. The worst thing that can happen is that you get it in early. The, I mean, the easiest thing that can happen. The worst thing that could happen is you waited till the last minute and then you had technical issues and then I, you went to ITS and it's not their problem that you have to have it in on the 31st. Uh, another uh, thing that you could do is you could make your video and, oh my God, it's long. I'll upload it to YouTube and I'll mark it private. And then I'll send, you know, on a Word document, what you upload to Moodle is the link. Okay? And that's really pretty easy, actually. Um, so that's the easiest thing. That's the first thing you, you do. I don't know why I said January 31st. It's January 24th by 11.55 in Moodle. Okay? January 24th for the bio. The research idea proposal form, there's a form that you have to fill in what you want to do your research on. Um, and now, between now and the end of January, you have to be thinking, what do I want to do my research on? What am I curious about? What would I, what can I stay married to all semester, okay? So you have to start thinking of that, and then you, you submit that form by J January 31st at 11.55 p.m. on Moodle. Don't be late. Um, and if you don't know what you want to do it on, contact me, and we can talk about it. And then you might come up with a good idea, okay? But look around. There's things that are happening in the news. You might get inspiration from something that's going on in the news, maybe a court case, maybe whatever you're interested in, okay? Uh, so you do have to meet with me about your research. You ha also have the option of doing the research alone with another person, so one, two, or three, up to three people. So right now I'm going to do the disclaimer, I'm not your marriage counselor. Let's say you decide, I'm going to do it on three people, and there's a slacker in your group, okay? And then you're doing all the work, and the slack is getting all the credit. You can fire that slacker. You can fire anyone in your group, okay? Just say, look, I'm sick of you. You're not doing your work. You're out of here. You have to tell me about it, though, <laughs> before you fire them. And then that slacker will come to my office, and I'll say, look, you've been fired from the group, and that slacker can't take your topic. They have to start from scratch. So don't be the slacker. <laughs> and if you're going to fire a slacker, you have to let me know. But those are your options, okay? 
Uh, I've had many students who have been, oh, me and my best friend are going to work on this. It's going to be great. We love each other. Nothing bad will happen. And then at the end of the, end of the semester, they hate each other and they never want to speak to each other again. So really, be very careful, okay? <laughs> be careful. Think about it, okay? So the idea form is the 31st and then on February 12th, okay? So you have to meet with me between January 31st and February 12th because on February 12th, you have to have a proposal written and all of the forms to go to the IRB, the Institutional Review Board. The IRB has to approve all the research that goes on at Tiffin University. And that has to be perfect and signed by everyone in your group, if you do a group one, by February 12th. And you have to bring a hard copy to me in class, signed with all the materials, and you have to upload an electronic version of it too, also signed, okay? So that is something you really have to be on top of, February 12th, okay? So make sure you make a little note of that, okay? If you hand in, you know, a packet that's missing something, your grades will suffer. So please make sure that you have everything together. You will have an exam. <laughs> it's a take-home exam, but don't think that's easy <laughs> because uh, it is quite difficult and, and um yeah, it's seven questions, and you do a question a day. And some students will be like, yeah, I got all week. I'll wait till the day before. And then they're in a world of hurt. Don't be that student. I had a guy who was in the military two years ago, and he said, he, you know, really bright guy, and um, <laughs> goes back the first day of class, the first day after the test, and he looks at his test, and he's got like a 30. And I, I said, what happened to you? I know you're, I know you know this stuff. And he said, I did what you told me not to do. I put it off till the end and then I tried to do it all in one day and it just was too big. He said, but I'll never do that again. He ended up getting an A for the class, but he busted his butt after that. So it was very difficult for him. The class is difficult. Not difficult that it's, that it's beyond you. I'm sure it's not beyond you. It just takes a lot of planning and you have to be really focused and detailed because think about research. Right? Do you want to take let's say a, in a vaccination for COVID. Do you want to take a vaccination that hasn't been well researched? I'm sure you don't. So research requires a lot of focus and a lot of attention to detail. So that's what we're going to learn about in this class. And you're going to learn how to do that. And uh, yeah, you don't want to be a sloppy researcher. Okay. So first test, February 19th, it goes hot. Okay. It'll be in the Moodle. And you print it up and you look at it and you have your heart attack <laughs> and then you start working on it and it's due on February 26th by 11.55 p.m. And test two will be March 19th and due in the drop box on March 26th by 11.55 p.m. Okay, so there's something else that uh, that you'll have to be doing. In addition to that, you'll have a conference grade. There are two conferences that will take place during this semester. Well, one is for sure, that's the Tiffin University Research Conference. And all research students will be in it this year, no matter who it's with, Dr. Law, Dr. Hurwitz, myself, uh, all the other people who do research on, conference, uh, on Tiffin University campus. That includes, um, you know, computer science, forensic science, business, even business people, marketing people, whatever. Everybody's doing the conference. So you have to do a conference, and there's certain things that you have to do for the conference. You have to make a packet. It'll include your presentation, a PowerPoint that goes along with your presentation, a um, summary paper, and a research summary handout. All of those things you have to have. That's your conference packet, plus you have to make the appearance at the conference. Okay, so that is a grade right there. Um, and then you get to make an invention. I'm going to put you into groups. You think there's like 13 of you, so... Groups of four with one that'll have an extra. I will put you into groups. And you have to come up with an invention. I've had some crazy, 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 funny inventions in my 30-something years here at Tiffin University. Some of them are just great. And some of them are like, oh, my God. Uh, anyway, you'll do that presentation. Your group will do that presentation in class on April 16th. And then the last thing that to do, of course, is your research project. Um, you will have to bind that, have it bound, and um, that is due in my office with your case of materials uh, on the last day of class, that's your final, April 23rd, and then you have to also put a copy, of course not bound, just an e-copy, 
on Moodle. That's worth twice all the other grades. I'm going to make a part two in a minute. Stand by.